this used to be a good profit craft in the past, chances are it's going to be a good profit craft in the upcoming release as well. But personally I don't recommend it because it's an expensive craft and sometimes the profit margins are slim to none with this craft. Sometimes you're going to make like 50 divs an hour and sometimes depending on how much you pay for the essences and for the bases you're going to make nothing. And on top of that this craft it's quite expensive so chances are you cannot craft for more than like 20 minutes before exhausting all your currency because on average to craft these rings is going to take you like if you go for the high end ring it's going to cost you like 7 to 8 tips to craft a ring and it only takes you like 3 to 4 minutes to craft such a ring and this is why it's something I don't recommend I think you're just simply going to spend too much currency for profit margins that are not uh, are not ideal even if you make like two tips profit crafting such a ring it's going to take like one day to sell the ring and it's going to be very expensive you're going to just basically lock your money into a craft and cannot craft further the craft I'm talking about it's going to be an amethyst ring with triple attributes maximum life and either increased elemental damage with attacks on non or non channeling skills have minus 7 mana cost. Now you have to do the math before attempting this craft you have to do the math and also you don't r really have to just go for triple tire 1 you can go for a lower tires for example let's just search uh, with lower attributes so maybe you can go for this if the bases are much cheaper and uh, here are the bases basically tire 2 goes from 43 to 50 to 50 43 times 1.2 would put you at 51 uh, attributes but when buying these bases please look at um, what tire it says here if it says s3 because some of these bases will have attributes applied to them attributes catalyst applied to them to instead of saying 43 dexterity they will say like um, 51 strength um, instead of saying 43 strength it will say like 51 strength because it has 20 percent attributes so if you go for the low end so let's just say they sell for five thieves you are going to pay 200 kills so basically one div for the base and the chance of you hitting let's see let's just say that you're going to use essence of spite by the way if you don't know how to fracture an item on craft of exile you just click here fractured you select the mod and you right click it and then you look for tire 2 strength it's going to be 1 in 54 um, let's see how much essences go for essence of spite I mean you can let's I think you can go for shrieking essences of spite how much do they give? Yeah, you can definitely go for shrieking. So instead of going for deafening, you go for shrieking for div 103. So this would be like half a div, right? 103, 50. 50 watt, 54, it's like just put one, 1. 1.5 for the essences and the base, and then probably like 10 kills for the, um, uh, for the catalyst, and 1.5 divs for the wild bristol matron, uh, or 1.4, 1.5, let's just put so it's going to cost you like 
three divs to craft the ring, similar to this one right here. And if you can sell it for five divs, and that's uh, two div profit. But at leak start, you can probably go for the tire one fracture. Um, because at least start uh, tire one fracture would be like one div, whereas now, so here's what I'm saying: if you put here 51 or above, it's going to give you a bunch of bases that have um, tire two, but they have attributes modifier applied to them. So let's scroll until you see S1. So tire one dexterity would be four divs. And if you also want to go for a ring that looks like this, it would take you, let's see, it would take you 108 different essences of spite and bulk item exchange. Um, this would be 133. Seven point four already, and then one point five for the wild Bristol matron. You're looking at around nine divs cost. I mean, it's even more than nine divs because there's only like a seventy-five percent chance to avoid to unveil maximum life, and there's also a, sl a slim chance to get to give you either three prefixes when you use the weld chaos orb, or three prefixes when you hit the tri the triple attributes. So it's actually much more than one point uh, than eight point uh, seventy seven. It's close to like nine point five or even more. So let's see what it for what price it goes. Such a ring. That's eight nine. It seems like nine. It's the it's the average. This I would not attempt it. I mean, at leak start, you can definitely make huge profits with go going for tire one because, as I said, you just buy the base for like uh, one div or less than one div at leak start. But at this point, I would just um, I would just go for the lower tire ones with uh, tire two, uh, both on the um, So I would go for a ring like this. At least uh, this is basically how I would do it. At this point into the league, as as you've seen there, there's really no much, no profit going for tire one. And apparently, there's a bunch of them that are listed just a few minutes ago. So I'm pretty confident that they will sell for like five to six tips. These still sell for like five to six tips. Now let's cover the crafting process. So basically, this is what the rings looks like. The, what the ring looks like uh, as a finished product. Let's remove this. So let's just say that your ring looks like this. First thing you do, you scour it, and then you go to catalyst and apply intrinsic catalyst. Because this way, it will only take you ten catalyst. If it was rare, it would take you twenty. But then make the item rare, obviously. Then use the essences, essence of spite. You're going to spam tire two, but for for this example, I'm just going to use tire one because it's craft of exile until you hit the strength. Uh, or the other the other attribute it doesn't really matter. You can do this. You don't have to use the essence of spite. You can use essence of rage or the other one uh, sorrow for dexterity, so it doesn't matter, it depends on what fracture you have, right? And if it gives you full prefixes, for example, your item looks like this, then there's really nothing you can do except use an orb of annulment and hope that it removes a prefix. But if you already have at least one empty prefix, you will just buy the beast called uh, Wild Bristol Matron This one right here. At leak start, if you do this craft at leak start, it's going to be much cheaper because you can buy wild bristol maton for like 50 to 60 kills. But at this point, it's uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, super expensive 1.4 divs, like what 300 and 
30 kills or something like that. It's uh, it's extremely expensive. Then this would apply suffixes cannot be changed. Like this, and then you would use a weld kill sorb. Now when you use a weld kill sorb, there's a slim chance that it gives you uh, three prefixes and at that point there's really not much you can do except try to annul. If, but most of the time it, your item would look like this and uh, you are just going to craft maximum mana the low star doesn't matter you unveil and there's like a 75% chance uh, to give you maximum life like this but what can happen instead of giving you the option for maximum life it can give you this add fire cold or lightning damage to like this and if your item looks like this, you want to block mana and exhort for life and just pray. If it doesn't give you maximum life, you just apply Wild Bristol Matron again until you hit the maximum life unveil, like this. And then you would, if you still have a slot for another prefix, like in this case, I would just craft maximum mana and I would exalt if it gives you something good, like increased elemental damage with attacks, that will boost the value of the ring. Even cold damage to attacks is going to make your ring sell for more. And then I would just craft non-channeling skills have minus mana cost, like this. And I would sell the ring. Basically this is the craft. As I said, do the math with these rings, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's uh, very good, you're going to make uh, even more than 30 divs per hour with this craft. And sometimes you're just uh, not even going to break even crafting these rings. So please do the math before attempting this craft.